Hey dolls! Welcome to Featured Faces, a new mini series that I'm super excited to start. In this mini series, I'll pick a specific face mold every episode, I'll discuss its history and some interesting facts, and then I'll show you some examples of dolls in my collection that use this face mold. For the first episode, we're taking a look at the Kayla and Leah head sculpt. I picked this face mold to talk about first because I happen to have a lot of dolls with the Kayla Leah face mold that have been customized. So I can't wait to show them to you, but first I will briefly explain the history of this face mold. Leah and Kayla are two friends of Barbie who share the same face sculpt. They were both introduced in the same line, Amazing Nails from 2002. Barbie has new friends, Kayla and Leah. At first, this face sculpt was primarily seen in Playline dolls throughout the early 2000s, but eventually it made its way into collector lines as well. Besides Kayla and Leah, some other characters that use this face mold include Kenzie from the Mystery Squad series, Kyra had this sculpt when she was in the Fashion Fever line, and Blair from 12 Dancing Princesses. This head sculpt has been used pretty consistently since it came out, and it's still commonly used today. You could probably spot it on a store shelf right now. So now that you know a little bit more about the Kayla Leah face mold, I can show you these dolls. Here is the first doll. I'm gonna go in order of least customized to most customized. This is a Made to Move Barbie from 2016. I really like her curly hair and her brown eyes. And of course, I love her articulation. That's probably my favorite part. That's the reason I got this doll in the first place. I think she was one of the first made to move dolls that I got. She's cute. I'm happy to have her in my collection. This next doll is one of my absolute favorites. I've used her in a lot of photo shoots over the years. This is Ballet Dreams Leah from 2004. What's not to love about this doll? Like, look at her. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. Ah, okay. She has beautiful brown and purple eyes and she has such a sweet expression, you know? Also, her hair is gorgeous. I like her highlights and the unique style, and it's very soft. She has been rebodied, which is fantastic, and she has these customized earrings and necklace. I've used this doll a lot, like I said, so she has a lot of like personal meaning to me, I guess. I didn't know this doll existed until I stumbled upon this customized version online and I instantly fell in love with her. She's not a doll I see people use very often. I think she's really unique, so she's one of my favorites. This is Fashion Fever Kyra from 2005. She's another one of my favorites in my collection. I'm probably gonna say that about every other doll in this video. This is another one that I feel like is very unique. Fashion Fever dolls just hit different. Like, I just love Fashion Fever dolls. Again, I love her expression. I just love how this face mold can look so different from doll to doll. Yeah, I love her eyes. Her eyebrows are very unique as well. My doll has been rebodied onto a made to move body and her hair has been cut as well as restyled. It's such a cute and quirky style and I feel like it matches her vibe really well. This is Really Rosy Kayla from 2003. I've had her for quite a few years now, but I have to be honest, I don't think she gets enough attention, enough love on this channel. This is my first ever rerouted doll that I added to my collection. Really Rosy Kayla was originally a brunette, but mine is blonde, as you can see. I like the two shades of blonde, the darker on top and then the lighter money pieces and bottom layer. And I really like the haircut. The layers look really nice. And she has custom earrings. Another customization is that this doll has been rebodied onto a fashion fever, <laughs> I mean fashionista, a fashionista swap and styles body. I got this doll for an amazing deal. I think she was like $12 or something. And I remember the seller was really friendly. This last doll has been customized in so many ways. And here she is. This is the Divergent Tris doll from 2014. 
She is truly one of a kind. For the record, I did not customize this doll. I didn't customize any of the dolls in this video. She has custom tattoos all over her arms, her chest, even her back. And they are beautiful. They are so, so detailed. But wait, there's more. There are more customizations. This doll has been partially repainted and she is so stunning. Look at her face. Like she's beautiful. And she has custom piercings. I love her long dangly earrings. And look at her nose piercing. That is so sick. She also has painted nails and her hair has been washed and conditioned. So it's extra soft. And lastly, she has been rebodied onto a made to move body. I really appreciate all of the work and effort that went into this doll. She's a work of art. This doll is extra special to me because the Divergent Triss doll has been on my holy grail list for a very long time. I always really liked her. I especially liked her articulation and her tattoo. So it's great that my custom version has more tattoos and more articulation. She is the most recent addition to my collection. I just posted an unboxing video so if you want to see more of this doll, check out the card or link in the description. So those are some of my favorite dolls that used a Leah and Kayla face mold, but now it's your turn to share. Let me know your favorite dolls that use this face mold in the comments, and also let me know which face sculpt you want me to talk about next. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Featured Faces. I'm really excited for this mini series. I already have a running list of more face molds to talk about, so I'm probably gonna make more episodes in the near future. If you like this video, please subscribe if you want and watch my YouTube original series, Drama Mind Games. Also follow me on Instagram at Millie Willow Stahl, and I will see you in these videos right here. Bye.